Thank you very much, Mark. Chris Ben from Salina joins us. His interview courtesy of Wabash Mutual Telephone Company. And you guys had it. We'll talk about the three seed in a moment, the rematch with Bath that's coming up in the sectional, possibly if you get through Wapakoneta. But first, what a week. Tuesday, you host the number one team in the state in Division IV Crestview. Two-point game, down to the wire. There's a blizzard outside. <laughs> then Friday, an overtime game with Shawnee. And then Coldwater, a Mercer County rivalry game Saturday. All games decided by a total of five points. What's this week? What been like for your team? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the kids have uh, had to play with a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. Uh, you know, I, I still look at the Crestview game, and, and I mean, our kids had to use a lot of energy in that game, and, and I don't know that we've ever fully recovered from that game. So uh, uh, then we turn around and we have to play Shawnee, who's very athletic, uh, very skilled, and, and, you know, they got up and down, and, and we used a lot of energy there. And, and then, you know, you turn around and you got to play again one more night. So uh, it was tough on the kids and, and tough on the coaches. But, uh, you know, we're through that stretch now, and, and hopefully we can get our legs back and, and, and get back to playing Salina basketball. You, you love the pack schedule. You play a lot of MAC teams to begin with, and you had in Coldwater's tournament. You're playing them again there for, for that next <laughs> yeah. weekend. How, how does that help prepare you for the postseason? Well, I, I'll tell you what, uh, it, it's some good basketball. Mm -hmm. you, you look at our schedule night in and night out, you know, we play quality competition and it's good for the kids to uh, be able to understand that and see that you got to bring your A game every night. So, um, you know, I, I think it's good and I think it'll help prepare them and, and help them mature a little bit uh, and, and able to play hard every night out. Your signature win this season, certainly going up to Defiance, getting that victory. What did that mean for your team as far as confidence goes? And just as you look ahead, you're still the WBL leader right now. Yeah, I, I, that was a big win for our kids. Um, you know, we come back and and um, I watched those kids get off the bus, and everybody had a smile on their face when they got on, when they got off. Uh, you know, so I, I think they felt pretty good about themselves. And, um, you know, Kirk does a great job with those kids up there, and, and that was a quality win for our, our kids. So uh, it really helped them out a bunch. Three games for the next two weeks, so you get to get some of those legs back, perhaps. Kenton uh, next week, then you have Lima Central Catholic, a nice non-leaguer that's been a good rivalry on Saturday nights, and then you finish up with the Elida. Guys are focused on trying to share that WBL crown, or perhaps if everyone slips up, getting getting the outright crown. <laughs> well, I tell you what, any night that can happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, we play Shawnee, who is supposed to be in the what they call the lower echelon. You know, and I will tell you what, you know, we beat them by two, and, and anybody can beat anybody in any given night, any given night here in the, in the WBL. So uh, you're gonna have to bring your A game every time. Wapakoneta is the team you drew. You're the third seed. Uh, Redskins a familiar opponent certainly this year, past <laughs> years. Uh, just throw throw the names in a hat. You're going to face a WBL opponent in the postseason. What's that feeling like going into that Tuesday for you? Scary. Okay. Um, you know, you, you get into that situation there, and, and you know, you beat them once. Mm -hmm. Now you got to go beat them again, and, right. and, and that's always tough to do. Uh, uh, and we know each other well inside and out, and um, you know, there's some common uh, friendships there between the kids, and, sure. and you know, so there's there's a little more on the line than just just the tournament win. You know, so uh, it, it's going to be tough. We're going to have to come and play. Is it challenging to, to get your guys up for a game, a lower seated team? They see Bath perhaps on the horizon there, or, or do the guys, does it depend on the class each year? You know, how do you approach that? Well, it, it depends on the class, uh, but these guys we've got right now, they, they're pretty good at preparing to play, okay. preparing to, you know, come out hard and, and, and play and understand that you've got to come with intensity every night. Uh, you know, our seniors do a great job at making sure that, that everybody's ready to play. And, and, and um, you know, I have not really been disappointed with how we've come out yet. All right, Salina going to try and make a run at the WBL title first. They're in that four-part log jam, and then they'll play WBL schools all again in the sectional Wapakoneta. And then the winner of that one gets Bath. Wabash Mutual Telephone Company again for Chris Ben. Thank you very much. Get some Donato's pizza.